interesting article on microwave food, and I heard, actually I heard, read a number of things, I don't know how accurate they are, I heard like one about, if you take water, and you microwave it, and then you know, let it cool down, I mean you're not going to take boiling water, and then you put it in with the plant, and you water, to, you take two different potted plants, and one's using microwave water, and the other's not, and the one using microwave water, the plant dies. I read that, I don't know if that's true or not, you know, it's supposed to be a scientific study, I didn't try it out or nothing. I use a microwave sometime, I heard also in Europe, in a lot of places I think they're banned. Now this is an interesting article, it was over here, this is like in Russia, it says microwaves were banned in 1976 due to studies that they did, but then they unbanned them later on when perestroika came about, which was like the new awakening or new structuring or something perestroika but there's studies in old studies and actually the Russian scientists are pretty honest you know what I mean I mean there's a communist ide ideology that I disagree with but a lot of Russian scientists are hard-working puppies man and they they're smart they do things thoroughly the engineers are thorough so you know this is a study I trust you know it's not like uh, some corporation paid them to uh, you know slam microwaves so that you know somebody else can cook give them uh, cell conventional ovens or something. I think it's an unbiased study when it's done by some of these Russian scientists in a lot of cases. And you know, they came up with a lot of medical things too. Some of the stuff uh, from Dr. Beck, his, you know, Dr. Bob Beck, some of his research, he found out about it from Russian scientists. A lot of stuff goes on, so it's good and bad, you know. <laughs> the system might not be cool, but the uh, Russian people are cool. Anyway, it goes on to state, this is back in... Uh, 1970s, it was said microwave foods lose 60 to 90 percent of their nutritional value, and it also accelerates the structural disintegration of the food. So it loses 60 to 90 percent of its value when you cook to heat something up in a microwave. That's a big bold claim, man. I don't know how true that is, but if that's even partly true, that's bad news. That's like taking an antivitamin when you're eating this food, because when you have food devoid of good nutrition, what it does is it pulls it out of the rest of the body. It almost acts like a sponge, you know? When you have food full of nutrition, it adds it into the body, but if the food is totally devoid of nutrition, it works like a sponge. So that's why, you know, you're better off having less calories with high quality food than having a mixture of garbage food where it's excess calories and it's getting soaked, the garbage food is actually soaking up the nutrients from the good food. So. The microwave food, you lose 60 to 90 percent of its nutritional value, according to Russian scientists in the 70s, and I trust that study. Microwaving creates cancer-causing agents within milk and cereals. Cancer-causing agents, microwaving alters elemental food substances, causing digestive disorders, and uh, goes on and alters food chemistry, which leads to lymph malfunctions of the lymphatic system. Microwave food leads to higher percentages of cancer cells in the bloodstream. So it leads to cancer, it alters the foods, and takes out the nutrition. Basically, that's simple, you know. Uh, actually, the, the field, the microwave field next to the oven is actually unsafe. <laughs> they say it's safe, but, you know, they say cell phones are safe, too. I mean, aren't you microwaving your head when you put the cell phone, you feel the heat? Yeah, I mean, you're microwaving your head. I don't do everything perfect either, man. I use a microwave. So uh, microwave food causes stomach and intestinal cancerous growths. So a lot of the health stuff you could be doing could be undone by the microwave. The only problem is it's fast. That's what I like about it. So, but I don't always use it. And uh, cancer causing free radicals were formed within certain trace minerals, molecular formations, and plant substances, especially root vegetables. Even when you're taking raw foods and you heat them up in a microwave, you're destroying a lot of stuff that's good in the raw foods. So, man, this is bad news. So I'm wondering, what the hell can you do? You know, microwave exposure causes significant decreases in nutritional value of all food studies, particular decrease in the bioavailability of B complex vitamins, vitamin C and vitamin E, real important stuff, essential minerals and um, destruction of the nutritional value of nucleoproteins in meats. So, damn, it's like, you know, you just turn food into a freaking uh, garbage, cardboard. That's what you're doing with a microwave. So I'm beginning to wonder, what are you going to do to heat food fast? Well, my solution would be, you know, you got the old benzomatic propane. Just turn it on. Get a little spark here. 
and you know, just heat your food up, right? Get some fire bricks, put them on your counter, you know, heat it up. Or you know, take a knife, stick it in there, and barbecue it. I mean, I don't know what the hell to do. I mean, what else is easier? This, this is pretty easy, right? Benzomatic propane? I don't know. Maybe it's got some carcinogens in there or something too, but you know, it's probably safer than a microwave, so that's my suggestion. I don't know if I'm going to do that, but uh, this makes me scared of microwaves. So, you know, I read this stuff before. I actually read the thing about the plants a few times. You know, I don't know how accurate this stuff is. I read that, you know, you take uh, microwave water and you microwave it, you let it cool down. You don't put boiling water in the plant try to burn it to death or something. Let it cool down. You water the plant with the microwave water. And you got another pot with the same plant, and you do the same thing, but no microwave water. The one that gets the microwave water, the plant freaking croaks. So, I don't know. I mean, this, thing, this stupid thing, you know, somebody, you know, the way it came about was there's some scientist who was in a room someplace, didn't even know what they were dealing with. They didn't realize it was something to heat something up. He had a candy bar in his pocket, and he realized it got melted. And then he figured out it was from the microwaves. So, you know, they just said, oh, yeah, we could cook with this. <laughs> you know, it's probably destroying the freaking value of food. So, it's bad news. So, I don't know, maybe you got to go back to old school and stuff. Because, uh, you know, if you even worry about food being radiated, at the, you know, before it gets to the supermarket, well, if you take that, even if you got unradiated food, and it was raw, and you freaking want to just heat it up a little bit and use a microwave, supposedly you're destroying a hell of a lot of nutritional value of it. You're just turning that food into... A expensive cardboard so I don't know how extreme this actually is it may be true though because like I said you know in Russian scientists a lot of times have no impart you know partiality as far as you know corporate interest paying them you know like you know say this could have been a study if it was from America it could have been a study for conventional from paid for by conventional ovens to slam microwave people you know uh, products but in the case of Russian scientists it's probably legit it's probably legit, and uh, this is before perestroika, and you know, sometimes they think they, you know, they might have had it all accurate, because Dr. Robert Beck, he picked up a number of things, actually, that was discovered by Russian scientists in the medical field that he used with microelectricity for healing. So, you know, it seems like there's a lot of stuff out there that, you know, you can't see it, you don't know what microwave actually does to the food at a structural level, it's probably killing all the good nutritional value. So I don't know, maybe you got to take a benzomatic propane and light up the food that way. I don't know if that'll work or not, but, you know, you got to do something besides a microwave. That's my point. Little cat.